Hey, welcome back. So, uh, getting to the business end of the, of the build now, we're actually looking to, to start thinking about closing the actual sound box. Um, and the last thing we've got to do is to fit the, uh, the back to the front and the sides of the guitar. Uh, as you know, there are some, some struts uh, which need to be attached to the, the body or indeed the back of the guitar uh, to act as scaffolding to, to support it. Um, so the traditional way of doing this is actually to connect the braces directly to the underside of the, uh, uh, of the back of the guitar and then to apply it to the sides. Um, myself, I, I do things a bit differently and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sink these struts into the guitar and then glue the back to the struts. Uh, it's a technique that I've used for the last three guitars, that, uh, the Spanish guitars I've made. And it works quite well, so uh, I'll show you how, how I do that now. Alright, so just to show you what I'm going to do now, I've, I've marked the positions of these bracings, the rear bracings, um, either side, obviously, uh, onto the sides of the guitar in all three positions for the three braces on this particular pattern. And quite simply, what I'm going to do is excavate the, uh, the kerf lining so that the brace will sit down flush with the side of the guitar um, obviously on the inside of it so uh, let's have a little look at that There we go, so quite simply when you've done the, uh, the cuts downwards and just remove it with a chisel when you see the, the, the underwood appear, you know you're down to the right depth. And that, oh yeah, that is ever so slightly tight, which is, oh there you go, which is good news by me. Uh, cool, so um, I've excavated the, the channels both sides. Mm, probably, a, there we go, a little space just, uh, just there and that one's going to sit. And what I've done now is I've offered the other ends of the uh, braces into the slots. They're not glued in as yet, but what that does do is it gives me three points along the way there um, that are accurately in the slots, if you like. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the bit that's overhanging. Obviously, I've, I've, I've cut these too long um, so that I've got a little bit of room to, to work with. I'm just going to mark the sides where they make contact with the, in, oop, that was handy then, with the inside edge of the actual wood itself, of the actual side wood of the guitar and then I'll just simply cut those off and they should be pretty much, well, absolutely bang on type fit. Okay, so that's the struts actually just popped in place, not currently glued. And I don't know if you can see what I've done here, but these two struts here, the one right at the, uh, the back end of it, and the, the center strut, are slightly elevated in the slot. And when they're glued in place, that's the way I'm going to leave them. This one is actually six millimeters above uh, the side of the guitar. This one is three. And what the intention is, once they're glued in, is to mark the center points along these struts and then to plane or sand um, a curve from the center point down until they become flush with the edges. And then that'll give a very slight dome shape to the, uh, the bracing. So when we glue the back to it, there will be a slight curve to the, the back of the guitar, which is, uh, is, is traditionally correct. So now I'm just doing is I've marked the centre line on and I'm just tapering the braces away until they make contact with the side. And I'll probably 
go over it with a bit of sandpaper and put it up before we get involved in uh, gluing the back on. Hopefully tomorrow. Do that tomorrow. Cool, so that's the, uh, the tapers put on. And the, uh, I that. Uh, and the last thing we're gonna do, obviously, will be to glue the back on. And as I said, we will do directly in the next session. One thing, don't forget, before you glue this on, to put the maker's name in. Uh, glue, your, glue your label on before you pop it in. Uh, you would kick yourself if you put the thing together and forgot to put your name in. That would just be wrong, diddly wrong, wrong. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get this one out now, I reckon, and, uh, and have a little look how we're getting on. Let's get it out of the mould. stuff so so there it is out of the Solera mold racing uh, is all ready to go we pre this one I'll tell you and, uh, and the back's on gorgeous piece of black limba black limba beautiful piece of wood and uh, incidentally there's the other one that uh, we've been working on kind of simultaneously back's already on this one We've got the heel decor on and the black bindings on. So this one's pretty much just ready for the, the fretboard and the bridge. Uh, neck carve, lots of sanding, and, uh, and yeah, she'll be she'll be ready to go. It's gonna be a good one. <laughs> 